Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another one of my videos. If you are new here, please feel free to click the subscribe button and follow along on my photo card journey, I guess, if you want to call it that. But welcome if you are new, it's great to see you, and I hope you're doing really well. This video is going to just be a TXT binder update, kind of just where I flip through and we can see the progress of my collection and where it stands as of now. Let's just go ahead and get into that. For those of you who have seen my TXT binder to some degree know how I have it organized, but I do have it done by member, not era, up until uh, Blue Hour, I believe, is when I started to do it by era rather than number, because it was easier to do based off of the photo card size. But with TXT, I'm nearly complete with everything. Go back, just missed the page. The lighting is still a little strange in my setup, my camera setup, still not the best, but it's okay. And I'm going to keep it like this for a little while, at the very least. I am still, however, missing two of these ID cards, one for Yunjin and one for Subin, both the white version. But I will get my hands on them eventually, I just haven't prioritize them I guess I don't know why I really just want to be done <laughs> but it's all right I will get them oh, I love these cards it's one of my favorites and then we've got these cards I got lucky that era and pulled well, every single thing for Bongyu so that was really lucky and I love these star seeker cards these are my favorite set of star seeker cards out of the ones they've done so far but that could change if they continue with the star seeker series and then this era, I did super well with Yunjun. I was really impressed because I normally don't pull a lot of Yunjun, but it's time I pulled everything. Like, you name it, if it was a part of the album, I, I got it. <laughs> it was crazy. So I was very happy because he can be pretty pricey and a little hard to get. So the only card I am missing from this entire era is this Tay card. And it's, it's so upsetting because I did have a duplicate of this Bongyu one and there was someone who wanted to trade with me um, but I also have an eBay account where I sell stuff so I have everything posted up on eBay and then if someone wants to trade I take it down um, unfortunately the person who wanted to trade me for their Tay for my Bongyu um, messaged me literally moments after it sold on eBay <laughs> and I'm just oh I mean I'm happy it was I was able to sell it and give it to a new home you know but i was now knowing i could have had that tay is just so frustrating so i'm only missing that tay which is really cool too i really love the vibrant colors on these ones i think they're really really pretty and i always love the sayings on the back of them i think they're really some of them are really sad and then some are kind of more in the i guess hopeful side and i don't really collect pre-order benefits for txt but where i order from i always end up getting the Apple Music benefits, so I keep what I get, but I don't actively collect them. And I'm so glad these are the ones that came with my latest album set that I purchased because I saw these and I knew they weren't from, you know, like the Korean albums and stuff, and they had to have been pre-order benefits. But, um, so I didn't think I was going to end up getting them, but these wound up being the Apple Music ones this year, so I was really excited because I thought they were really cool. Sorry, it's a little hard to see this side. My camera setup, as I've said, is a little strange yet again. You can kind of see them flipping over, so I guess that works. Oh, and you can see the sparkles. I love these stickers. I loved uh, the escape version with all the sparkles and stuff. They're super pretty. But I also just really liked the boyfriendy vibes of the skater ones too. Their ARs, their Monopoly money ARs, which I think they're super cute. I really liked this idea. It was a really cute concept and idea. I thought these are going to be the epitome of hell for me, I feel. Although I do have three members full, like both sets, but I don't. 
I still don't have one of Bungie's and one of Subin's, so I will find them. I've seen them. I just want to try and find a couple within my budget so I don't have to spend extra money on, on them, but um, if I have to, I will. I'm not too bothered. Considering they're the only two I need, I'm genuinely not that bothered. one. This concept was so pretty and it worked for him so well. I thought Bombu killed it too. Bombu's is really nice. I love the neck tattoo and the lace. It just, it looks really nice. I said lace, that's literally mesh, but it's fine. <laughs> this concept was my favorite, I think, for everybody. It was just it hit different. It was more like a boyfriendy concept, although I love that one for Yunjun. Ooh, so handsome. Like he's he killed it in all of them. Tay owned this concept. Like, ooh, he looked so good. But again, these just hit differently. Bong <laughs> Yu's slaying. I'm getting all fluffy. But like again, these just they're so nice. I think this is my favorite for Subin. I'm not sure. I really like this one too. So adorable. I love his fluffy hair. Oh, he's so cute. The, the duality though. Man. <laughs> I love it. That one's so nice. Again, this concept. I love the blinged out backgrounds and stuff. Bongi's hair like this is everything. I love it love the mesh. And that is the end of my TXT binder. As of now, I'm almost done with everything that they've released so far for like Korean albums and stuff. That's all I collect for them. But I mean, besides like light stick photo cards, but they've only had one light stick released. So we're good on that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and that you'll come back for another video in the future. I really appreciate you being here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to, and I will see you in another video, guys. Bye.